The Center for Social Equity through Science Education at George Mason University is focused on research and philanthropy to encourage science education for all students. Our acronym is CSE Squared because when you bring together social equity and science education, the result is exponential. And we really feel like science education can help bring to us, at least in part, social equity. Because when you give students opportunities to learn, then, then more things open up to them. And if we can make science more engaging, then we can give students more opportunities to engage in the world around them. The mission is twofold, really. It's about innovative research approaches to science teaching and learning, and we couple that with outreach programs so the local schools can have resources and materials to actually achieve some of those innovative science approaches in their schools. So we really want to find students who don't feel they're science-minded and show them different ways that they can really engage the world and learn about the world around them. Wonder is a tool. And it's really about rekindling people, people's relationship with science in a way that reminds them of all the stuff around the world that they're, they're fascinated by and the things they look around and see in their everyday lives and their connection to that. And that emotional connection about the things that vex them become an entry point for scientific inquiry. Well, so we're doing birds, and they're like, Ugh, I hate birds, and I don't care about birds. And it's like, yeah, okay, well, yeah, fine, but this is what we're doing, you know? The past couple days when we go outside to look, they're like, wow, you know, why, why is that bird doing that? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, let's put it on your sheet when we come back in. And it's just, oh, I never saw that before. So that, to me, that's worth it. <laughs> One of the main intervention programs that I have is a self-regulation empowerment program. And it's a type of intervention approach where we train teachers and counselors, psychologists, uh, administrators to work with academically at-risk kids. So we've been pretty successful in changing how students think about themselves and how they think about learning and, and their, the, the quality with which they can engage in learning through these use of strategies. What's exciting about um, working with the center is that I get to apply it to STEM areas and that's something where my intervention program it's been tied to math, it's been tied to biology so there's a natural uh, synergy and symmetry with, with what I believe in what I do and what the center is all about. On the philanthropic side we have a lot of goals that we've set for ourselves. One of them is when we do things like food drives we want to have a science day associated with it so for instance we want to have these sort of already made um, activities, such as um, the science of uh, a field day. You know, so could you become a better runner through science? Uh, we want to do the science of superheroes and villains, so we can get kids interested in science through that. Um, and maybe the science of music. So when we do these philanthropic efforts, then we have sort of a show that we can put on for them. Another thing that I'm working on right now is uh, pairing schools in need with corporate sponsors. I'm creating a database of um, schools and their, and their specific needs, and then going to local corporations and finding out what philanthropic efforts they do so I can connect the two. At the center, we're really looking for pedagogies that work for all students. And it's cool because we're not just teaching science, we're teaching kids how to think like scientists and how to be scientists. And so it's more you know, the, the nature of science and the 21st century skills and not just the content. Our hope is that the impact in schools and local area and community centers and, and the like is really about just getting kids and adults and people just interested in science, engaging in science, and thinking about all the science that is around them in the everyday. With Dr. Gilbert's work with the younger kids in, in using wonder as a tool for inquiry, with my work with self-regulated learning and STEM school models, um, and the other affiliates that we have with the center, I hope that we would have a very wide and coherent uh, group of ways to help kids engage in lots of different issue points. Science education needs to be more engaging for both educators and students, and I think the center is working to get to that point.